Hey there, hi there. Um, <clears throat> it's me, Priscilla B. Um, so, um, whew, got a lot going on. Anyways, so basically, um, we're gonna dive right in, and um, this is for all signs everywhere. Um, so we're gonna just take some deep breaths release it release any toxicity release any toxic energy release any negative people negative influences negative energy from your life release it now Whew, it's gone um so um we have a message um uh, from the dove here and this is feel and allow a deeper sense of peace to fill you now this is a, a divine quality so that's what we're gonna do right now we're gonna just let peace fill us now we're gonna just get a deeper sense of divine quality because that's who we are and that's what we are right um so I'm gonna put that up there so we're going to channel this beautiful dove energy um, right now because there's just so many toxic people in the world. There's so many negative people in the world. There's so many hateful people in the world. There's a lot of bullies out there. There's just a lot of horrible, horrible people. Um, so we do not want these horrible people around us. We don't want them taking up our energy, taking up our time, taking up our space. You know, if they're going to be negative, if they're going to act negative towards us, towards the people we love, then pff, we don't need them. We don't need them in our life. So they're gone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, what we really are going to do right here is we're going to balance out the scales right now. Yeah. Ancient Tantra of the soul. That's what we're going to do right now because the scales, um, I feel like are imbalanced, um, right now, um, negative people are trying to come in and steal your happiness. Um, this applies to everybody on a daily basis. You know, there's, there's always people coming in and try to steal our negative energy, right? So we need to balance the scales. So that's what we're going to be practicing right now through the art of tarot card reading, um, through channeling the divine, um, and entering that whole dimensional, like atmosphere of just like peace and tranquility. Um, so that's what we're going to do right now. Alrighty. Um, we're going to do this and we have the eye of Horus here to help us. Um, this is awakening divine perception. And that's really what we're doing right now is we're awakening divine perception. And we have the eye of Horus that's helping us out. Um, if you like Egyptian stuff, you might want to check out this, um, this not you might you should you really should check out this um a uh, show on disney plus called the moon night oh my god such a great great show i love it it's so different from any of the art other like marvel shows um and it really like opens awareness to like mental health and like um, and incorporates like Egyptian uh, mythology and it's just so good so you should definitely check it out um, so we're gonna awaken um, our divine perception right now so we're not alone in this we have the eye of Horus that's helping us we also have the Shara of accession this is spiritual work of the higher innate initiate so basically what this means is that you're extending into spiritual work right now and um this um item right here um is an ancient um like basically artifact that is going to help channel that spiritual work and so you get into that higher initiate state of awareness and you're able to disconnect from the negative energy you're able to disconnect from the toxic energy and you're just able to channel this spiritual work higher innate uh initiate energy okay so you're not alone you've got help um we're entering the chamber of healing now this is the healing in the divine chamber of the lady isis so isis um i don't know if you know a lot about her but she was just like this major amazing goddess 
um, Cleopatra um, believed that she channeled um, Isis energy through her. Um, I, I definitely think so. I mean, she was a goddess, so probably. Um, so we're entering the chamber of healing now. We're healing from the toxic people in our life. We're healing from the bullies that have harassed us. We're healing from the haters that stalk us online. I don't know about you, but there's a lot of stalkers. I guess, you know, online they're called trolls, right? Well, they're, uh, you're, that's like a modern term for a stalker, okay? Like, maybe the word stalker would, like, be a little bit more, um, uh, better to use in certain cases because trolls, I don't know about you, but I like the movie Trolls, and trolls just seem like people who are just, like, they're not, you're, they're not stalking you. They're, like, just, like, oh, hi, like, yeah, right, like, you're not pretty, or you're, wow, how can you think you're good, or whatever, that's not a stalker, that's just, like, a hater, slash, troll, right, I like trolls, I like the movie Trolls, honestly, I do, um, but anyway, I don't know, I do like that, I like that movie, it's got a lot of great music in it, um, so, a stalker is somebody who likes you, but not in a healthy way, um, in an obsessive way, in an obsessive compulsive way that makes you scared for your life because as we all know, stalkers are like another word for like potential killer, <laughs> like duh, um, or somebody who like stalks you and then like talks about you behind your back, right? So like, if you have this in your life right now, we're going into this chamber of healing right now. We're literally escaping this. Like, no, goodbye. I'm going into the chamber. I got the divine lady Isis here. She's protecting me. You know, like, you're not allowed in the chamber. If you're a stalker, if you're a hater, if you're a troll, you're not coming in the chamber with me, right? You're not allowed. You're not invited. <laughs> You're not invited, okay? Um, there's also, like, mean girls, like, mean guys, like, that kind of thing. Like, girls who are mean to you, guys who are mean to you, um, they're not coming in this divine chamber with you, okay? They're not. They're not invited to the party, okay? Like, we have Lady Isis on our side. Thank you. We have Goddess Energy on our side. Thank you. We have the Eye of Horus helping us out. Thank you. We have higher initiate purpose okay we have higher purpose like we are better <laughs> like if you're wasting your time hating on people if you're wasting your time bullying people if you're wasting your time like stalking people right i feel like those people that are doing that to you they're not coming to the party okay because they are evil and they're doing evil things um proper burial for freedom sacrifice to osiris lord of the dead yeah so basically just what this means is that like you are free now okay it doesn't have anything to do with like actual death it doesn't have anything to do with like um like you know dying um it's all just about like this higher power okay the like lord of the dead is like um like celebrating you and like being glad that you're alive and like I mean you really honestly like basically have like the lord of the dead on your side um if you're a Capricorn like me um like the devil is your card in the tarot and all in all I'm all for it if I have to play devil's advocate I'm all for it like uh, if it, it beats hanging out with like bullies and jerks and negative people that are toxic and abusive so I'm all for it so um you know again you're entering the chamber and if you all if you know a lot anything about like Egyptian stuff um so basically like Egyptians were like the kings and the queens uh pharaohs right they were all buried in pyramids and then, um, it, like, they were all, like, worshipped like gods, right? So this is you, like, male, you know, channel that god energy, right? Channel that, like, Eye of Horus, Lord of the Dead, you know, channel that energy to get away from, like, to just escape the negative people in your life and if you're a female um then you can channel lady isis and if you um oh what's the word i'm looking for um if you are more fluid and you identify as uh they or them then even better because now you're channeling both energy. So you got like double energy here. And then, you know, 
we got all this beautiful energy right now because we have all this like Egyptian god goddess power on our side. So it's amazing. It really, really is amazing. Um, and then we have the brother in darkness. Some of you might have a brother that is um, not really like brotherly. Like he doesn't really like stand up for you. He is like not really like a person that you can rely on for help in times of need or support. Um, he's kind of selfish and self-centered. Um, but you're going to overcome that with, you're going to overcome the negative energy with um, feminine power. So use your goddess power here because you're going to overcome this negative brother in darkness. Some of you have a brother or brothers who are selfish or self-centered, who always are full of negative energy, who hang out with negative people, who associate with bullies, who associate with men, who treat women like garbage. Um, maybe they even hang out with women who do not have feminine power and do not channel goddess energy and therefore they are in darkness as well. So this, some of you do have a brother that does have this. Um, it also could be um, like uh, if you don't have a brother it could be just like a sibling but it's somebody who's related to you that is definitely um, like negative energy 24 7 like never has anything positive to say never has anything good to say never offers anything to like sister brother relationships just always negative you know always hanging out with the wrong people always doing the wrong thing like doesn't care about his nieces doesn't care about his uh siblings doesn't care about anybody but himself just like a very self-centered person um not family oriented at all and you're gonna overcome this though with the feminine power right here and if you're a man then just you can just take what resonates so basically if you're a man watching this and you have a sister in darkness like genders are fluid here so it's vice versa but um yeah i can definitely relate to this <laughs> for sure um okay anyways um so we have one more card, one more Egyptian power card. This is healing the divine masculine. Oh, yes. Osiris rises. Yeah, because remember, you made a sacrifice. You sacrificed to Os... Os I don't know how to say that. Osiris? <laughs> it doesn't sound right. Okay, but anyway, you made a sacrifice. So basically, this uh, you you brought back to life like your soulmate. Like you brought back to life this uh, divine masculine energy. And this can channel through you as well. Um, but I feel like you made a sacrifice to like bring your like other half. Oh, I'm thinking of that movie um, Hitchcock. Is that what it's called? Yeah with um will smith and him and his soulmate or like him and his like pr pretty much like soulmate right um energy there uh charles theron they both have superpowers and like the closer they're together the heightened the more heightened their superpowers are and when they're farther away then they're like okay but when they're closer together their superpowers are super heightened and also if like one of them dies then the other one can die too like that's how close they are well this is like a soulmate energy okay so this is basically like healing that divine masculine healing that macho man like energy here and like you've done this this is you and you've done this and you made this rise up um take what resonates so again it could be vice versa like it could be the divine feminine but um basically your soulmate is the person that you're helping rise up you're helping strengthen them you're helping them um like become their divine self so that you two can basically just like get through any obstacles, get through any negativity, get through any toxic people because you both are now divine. You both are now connected for all good, for all purposes. Um, and this helps because um, you really want to make sure that like you have support a support system so maybe you have a really close male friend. I mean it does because it is hard to um, it's hard to like navigate through like certain obstacles when you're a woman and like there's so much male aggressive 
angry energy and especially men who like use a lot of sexual uh, language and talk about sex a lot in front of you that is so inappropriate like unless you told them it was okay and you're comfortable with it men who just assume that it's okay are really weird and twisted souls and those are darkness brothers those are brothers in darkness okay so again like men who who always um, are like making sexual advances at you without even you like prompting it or um, men being like, oh, it's okay or whatever. It's not okay. Like look at the hashtag Me Too movement. So sometimes if you're a feminine, if you're a female, right, and you're just being a natural feminine energy goddess lady, right? And then a man comes in and he starts asserting all his masculine energy, like touching your stuff, moving your stuff around without even asking. Like that is a red flag. Like that is not a divine masculine at all. Like that's just creepy and that's just freaking weird. Like I had this happen to me at the laundromat. I literally had my like little cart right by the dryer and this man I didn't even know just asserts his masculine darkness brother in darkness negative energy and he just literally like pushes my card out of the way like he could have gone around like or he could have been like hey is it okay if I just move this a little bit so I can get in the dryer like it wasn't really even in his way like he just wanted to assert himself obviously because he's very insecure with his um uh just like self like <laughs> but like that's you know so that's why it's good for you sometimes you need to like use this divine masculine energy yourself and just be like don't touch my stuff like you can assert as much masculine energy as you want like negative masculine energy as you want but I'm gonna assert the divine masculine energy here and I'm gonna use my feminine and my masculine energy and I am going to just dive right in there and I'm just gonna be like nope 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 and I'm gonna heal and this is the end of it. I'm not putting up with this negative energy anymore. I'm not doing it. Um, okay. So yeah, so that's a lot, right? <laughs> Woo, baby. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, there's just so many negative people. I'm like, I don't understand. Like, pff, I mean, ugh, just so ridiculous. So we have our goddess energy here as well. And this is um, the white shell woman. White shell or white bead woman, also called turquoise woman and abalone woman, is sometimes said to be a younger version of changing woman. White is the color of dawn and of the east. White shell woman, the creator and sustainer of life, created the Navajo people and sent them their home. As gifts, she gave them shells, which became corn and other food-bearing plants. She gave them the animals. She gave them the gifts of rain and beautiful flowers. With the sun, she is the mother of killer of enemies and the child of the water, the dual protectors of the people from their enemies. A Navajo chant says, all things around me are restored in beauty. It is because of White Shell Woman that this is so, and it is because of her teachings that we can experience the exquisite harmony that comes from being alive on this beautiful earth. And that is so true. So White Shell Woman is um, channeling here right now um, and is going to be the killer of the enemies, okay? And she's going to bring forth water as well. So water is like ever flowing, everlasting, like water replenishes the earth. So not only is she going to destroy your enemies for you, but she's also going to replenish the earth so that you flourish, so that you're successful in everything you do and all of your endeavors. All right. So we're going to white shell woman that up there. So now we're going to ask um, the light oracle for some guides to like how we can better navigate negative people and their energies. All righty. So let's see here. <sighs> awakening. Of course, awakening. Pfft, what did we expect, right? Energetic upgrades, a new way of be being, integration. Yeah. You're 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 ascending. You are. Is it ascending or ascending? I think it's ascending. I don't know. Anyways, um <laughs> um so you're definitely um 
like rising above all of these like people and all this negativity and everything like there's only so much drama a person can take before it's just like okay I've had enough and also why do people love drama so much like I don't understand like I do understand where you might want to find closure in a situation or you want to like um, stand up to the bully that's bullying you that's not drama that's different that's not drama though that's like that's you finding closure and that's you like standing up for yourself then there are people who literally all they do all day long every day is just project, project like like just negative things and negative actions and negative thoughts and it's like why and by I mean negative I mean like hurting people like look at Putin like he hurts people but nobody has like even like had like the freaking audacity like the freaking like kahunas to like go up to him and just be like bitch no no bitch no like can someone just say to him no bitch no like bye felicia like bye putin like what is your freaking problem like you are so stupid like who do you think you are like you're not allowed to do that like it's just like ridiculous like if i was the president i'd be like putin um i'm gonna slap you like i'm gonna slap you in your face like i'm gonna slap you <laughs> like i would just straight up be like let's go let's go let's go meet me at the park let's go um i know it's more complicated than that but really it's not so whatever whatever i don't care I care about the people of Ukraine, but I don't care about Putin. Um, energetic upgrades, you know, obviously we're going <sighs> to upgrade our energies right now because it is so needed. It is so necessary because we are the keepers of the earth. Okay. We are not alone. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Really, honestly, look, we have here another um, beautiful woman who's an ancestor to this younger woman here. And there's all this beautiful energy. There's eagles soaring. There's wolves howling at the moon. Um, there's um, elephants. There's lionesses. Like, we're channeling all this beautiful energy. Okay? So, we are just like... Um, just, well, we're just doing great okay like we, we're doing great everyone else is just like being negative being superficial being fake whatever but we're doing great here we're doing freaking amazing okay and i want to just expand a little bit further on the awakening and the keepers of earth card um because there's so many like there's a lot of like wonderful messages here by rebecca campbell who um is uh the person who designed and uh oh danielle noel designed the cards but shout out to rebecca campbell and danielle noel noel i love your cards so we're gonna do this we're gonna look at the awakening card and then we're gonna look at the keepers of the earth card let's see and then we are gonna do a cosmic cross um, which is an 11 card spread, um, just so we can like put a, put a cross on that. You know, we're going to put a, you know that from uh, Portlandia, I don't know if you ever saw that show Portlandia with that guy from SNL, but it, there's this one episode where he's like, put a bird on it, put a bird on it. We're going to put a cross on it. Okay. Um, you know, no, this is like non-religious, but like crosses are like, we're going to put a cross on it. Okay. Um, so let's see the awakening card. If I can find it. Okay, hold on one second. Alrighty. Okay, here we go. Page 90. Also, please feel free to check out my podcast on Spotify. It's called Podcasting with Priscilla B. Um, I just started like a month, or so, a month, a couple months ago, really getting into these tarot card readings. Um, so um, that was like my last post on there. But um, there's some other um, like discussions I and things I talk about, like um, 
women in business um, and how we deserve way more respect. Um, and then like, um, like entertainment and stuff like that, movies, things like that. Um, okay, so awakening, you are going through a period of awakening, things are changing with you and at many levels, you are starting to remember ancient truths and discovering more and more about you, who you are and why you incarnate it. You may find that you are experiencing past life flashbacks, seeing the invisible thread that is woven through all of life, or even feeling Kundalini Shakti rise to your body from the base of your spine. The most important thing for this time is not to overthink it and stay grounded. Share your experiences with like soul people while you consciously integrate them. Journal and pay attention to your dreams. You are remembering and your soul gifts are emerging. During this time of transition and awakening, you may be called to devote yourself to being of service. These are ideas, truth, concepts, books, and creations waiting to be birthed into this world. Stay open to receiving them. Pulling this card may be a sign that you are here to birth one of these creations into the world. Or perhaps you're being called to make a shift in your life in order to be of service. Don't think too much about it. Instead, repeat the following work, your light act activation. Um, hold the card on your heart and say, I surrender at my awakening. I allow the shock to energy to rise from the base of my spine. I open myself up to the universe using me in a way that delights my mind, body, and spirit. All right, and that's just all about like channeling that positive energy. Um, in the book here, it's called the Kundalini Shakti Rise. So it's just channeling um, a very strong ancient energy um, that is a very powerful energy that can boost you up and let you flourish, okay? And then we have Keepers of the Earth. Um, yeah, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. You are so supported. Um, you do not stand alone. You have a magnificent team of helpers, both in this world and of the earth, who are here to help you every step of the way. Call upon them for assistance. They are here to help. The keepers of the earth acknowledge the work that you have done already and are ready to work through you. They bow at your feet and thank you for wanting to stand for them. To devote your life to protecting the earth in your unique way. It is time to increase your capacity to receive support in the physical realm. This can come in the form of financial abundance, acts of service from strangers, or people flocking to help you in your work. The only thing is that stopping you right now is your capacity to receive support. You deserve to be rewarded for the work that you are doing. You do not need to go at it alone. Call upon the keepers of the earth to help you in your mission. Open your heart and your mind to receiving more than you ever thought possible. What kind of support do you need? Call in it right away. Work your light activation. Hold the card on your heart and say, I am open to receiving a whole new level of support for my life and my work, and I call it in now. Include any other specific requests here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So call in any kind of support and help you need right now. Call it in if you need help paying your rent, if you need help um, paying your uh, spectrum bill, <laughs> um, if you need help with groceries, if you need help with diapers, wipes, if you need help with um, gas for your car, if you need help with medical information, if you need help with uh, school information, if you need help with like a business idea that you have, any kind of help that you need, call in it now, call in for it now um, because it's going to be sent to you. I will send you manifestation um, of like vibes so they like this can manifest for you um there's a lot of resources out there um feel free to um comment in the description below if you want and if you have specific questions about things that you want help with and answers for um and stuff like that um so yeah so definitely um ask for help if you need it from the universe start manifesting that uh start um like imagining that and thinking that and manifesting that into actions manifesting that into um everything that you need basically um all right so let's look at the cosmic cross so position one is where you are in present time so you're in the temple oh yeah we went in the temple that makes sense so we're in the temple 
We're tuning in to the portal of our hearts. Okay. Um, what your soul is calling you to do. Oh, your soul is calling you to be a pillar of light. That's beautiful. Look at that beautiful energy. You got this. You can be a pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. You are the oracle. If you're watching this right now, you've basically just entered into the temple um, of goddess Isis energy. So you definitely... Um, have just become the oracle <laughs> like going into the temple getting away from the haters getting away from the negative energy getting away from the toxic people getting away from the abusers entering into that sacred temple of light and beauty and positivity that really just pff, initiates you you're it you're in you're in you're in <laughs> uh, VIP um, so what is rising in you play Okay, so time to have some fun, time to celebrate, and don't be so serious. Of course, of course you need to have fun. Of course you need to celebrate. Have that glass of champagne. Have that glass of wine. Um, have a glass of seltzer. <laughs> I literally have my peach seltzer right here. So I'm going to drink that. <laughs> Of course, you need to be having fun while we're doing this. If this is, like, not fun for you, then, you know, maybe you're just not in the right frame of mind. But, I mean, you probably already, like, exited out of the video if you weren't, want, if you weren't having fun with it. Uh, but this video is just all about just, like, exiting out of the negative space and entering into the chamber of light and love. So, woohoo, yeah. Okay, uh, what is falling away? So what is falling away? The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happened for you, not to you. Oh, interesting. So the rose has been opened. So whatever's falling away, definitely the negativity is falling away. So all these positive things are happening for you. Oh, wow. Okay, let's like explore that a little bit further. I want to know more about this ever unfolding rose. Let's see. Roses are so pretty too. Okay. Let's see. What does this mean? What does this mean? Where's the ever unfolding rose? Okay. Hmm, let's see here. So the challenge of life is to keep your heart open when you must, when you most want to close it. To let life crack you open, to open through heart and loss, to allow what is falling away to fall away. Oh my God, did we literally just get what is falling away and get the what is falling away card at the same time? What? Okay, I love that. Being human is a courageous act. A life well lived is full of losses and tragedies. I cannot say that word right. Um, as much as triumphs and adventures, wherever you find yourself at the moment, life is coaxing you to keep your heart open, no matter how much it hurts, to continually unfold, to let life crack you open. Perhaps you are going through a difficult time right now. Instead of cursing the difficulty, see it as a blessing to open yourself up to the truth that perhaps as hard as it may be, life is happening for you, not to you. And one day in the not too distant future, you may just bless the thing that broke you down and cracked you open because the world needs you open now is the time to go gently to treat yourself like a tender sweet baby to wrap yourself in a blanket and trust that the mother as you cradled in her in her arms just the seas may not all be smooth sailing but you are safe and you are held one day not too far from today you will look back at the transformation and be blown away by the po poetry of life everything is going to be okay work your light everything is gonna be okay let it crack you open. Alrighty. Awesome. Alright, now we have position five, which is our soul gifts. Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. Oh, okay. I like that. Akasha. Let's see what this card means. 
I literally got this deck like right during like the pandemic and I haven't used it like in like two years. Okay, let's see. Akasha exit in the fifth dimension and the library of souls. All soul contracts, history, gifts, lessons, and more exits here. I mean, exists here. Um, we each have access to this information of the past, present, and future and can tap into it at any time. While we have free will, there are also points on the timeline of our lives that are pre predest predestined or preplanned soul contracts or agreement that were made before incarnating. It could be a company you chose to work for, a relationship you plan to have, or a person you agreed to mentor or help you. Um, whatever it is, um, whatever it is, know that it is divinely guided and will not bypass you. If you are waiting for a sign to proceed, this card is it. You are likely living out an important part of your soul's journey and you are exactly where you need to be. This is very exciting indeed. It's time to call on the support of your helpers both in the physical realm and the spiritual world to trust the signs coming. Take note of your dreams to notice any feelings or visions that you receive or you're tapping into the wisdom of the Akasha and you are being given the go ahead to proceed. Hold the card to your heart and say, I open myself up to receive the wisdom of the Akasha. I am ready to download any information from my soul records. That is in my highest good and the highest good for all right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So that's, your gift is basically being able to, like, channel all of this energy that's like so pure and so beautiful and so wonderful you're able to get away from negativity you're way able to enter into a chamber filled with goddesses and gods and light and just beauty and wonder and you're able to escape like the haters the hatred the negativity because you're a beacon of light for people and your um your voice is important when it comes to um sharing messages of love and wisdom and light and positivity so the Akasha is uh, another word for like being like that is the word for being able to do all of this. And then we have um, what is being manifested. The Council of Light. Yeah. Divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realms. Yeah. So the Council of Light is being manifested. All of these wonderful, beautiful people with all these wonderful, beautiful souls are there to help you and they're there to stand by your side and they're there to support you and guide you. The next step is answering the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Right? Your soul is calling you to um, manifest this light right, and manifest this beautiful energy. Um, past life influences. We have here the Amarama. Amarama, I think. Where are you being called to journey to? Right? So you're being called to journey away from negativity. You're being called to journey away from toxicness. You're being called to journey toward this beautiful energy, this beautiful place. Um, so your past life energy is like here to be like, you know, um, don't like don't go on a journey towards negativity. Go on a journey towards light. Go on a journey towards positivity, right? Um, so... What do we need to know? Oh, we have the star mother here. How can you how can you mother yourself? Yeah, that's what, literally what we were just like uh what I was like just reading about is like loving yourself, mothering yourself, nurturing yourself, imagining yourself as a baby being held and loved and cared for. Okay, that's what you need to know right now. It's like you need to take care of your inner child. Um, what If you, there was a bully picking on you, you know, you're, hopefully your mother, um, star mother, if you don't have a, a, like a biological mother that's like always, have, always has your back and is like not a negative force, if you, have a, if you don't have like a positive mother role model, um, the star mother is here basically to say that you need to know that you can mother yourself, like you can call on the star mother energy. Um, you know, I don't have a biological mother that like 
is a role model or like takes care of me. Um, no, but I do have this star mother energy. So I'm able to take care of myself. I'm able to mother myself. Um, in other words, just like a mom's job is to take care of her child forever for as long as that child exists um and the mother exists our job is to take care of you that means you know making sure that you have shelter making sure you have food making sure that you feel good making sure you're healthy right making sure your mental health is good making sure your physical health is good that's literally their job so um you know like a 24 7 care caretaker um so if you don't have that in your life you know it's it's sometimes you can forget about it and then you know you you're not taking care of yourself but the star mother energy is here to remind you to take care of yourself okay that's what you need to know right now and then we have um your hopes and your fears um don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Again, this comes with the bullies and things again, you know, um, also with like peer pressure, people telling you to do stuff that you're not comfortable doing. Um, people telling you like, oh, well, you need to like put your needs like on the back burner and you need to only think about me. It's like, no, I don't know. I don't need to only think about you. I need to think about myself too. Like I need to make sure that I'm okay, that I'm in the right frame of mind. And then I can, um, like be around you. But if this person is negative, if they're toxic, if they're abusive, then don't, don't let them, don't let them smother your voice. Okay. So you might be afraid of, um, of dimming your light to fit in, of being forgotten, of just letting this negative person take too much control over you. But you have hope um, that you're you're asking yourself this, so you know you have some hope that like this isn't going to last forever, and that you are going to be able to shine, and you are going to be able to achieve your dreams and your goals and your aspirations. And then let's see what the potential outcome is. Yeah, we have um, La Mira, creating heaven on earth. It's happening. Yeah, you've already entered the chamber. You've already escaped the toxic people. You're now creating heaven on earth. It's happening. You're creating a more beautiful place. You're creating a more wonderful place to live. Um, all light, all love, every day, all day, right? So let's look at the La Mira card just a little bit more and get a little bit more um, clearer definition of that. 114. Oh, my birthday, 114. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. <laughs> so, Lamira or Mu, Mu uh, M U, as one of the Earth's lost lands, where heaven really was a place on Earth, a time before we were kicked out of the Garden of Eden in Lemuria, life worked in harmony. All beings were seen as equal, and we were deeply reverent to Mother Earth. We knew that a mosquito was no worse than us, and the sun no better. Perhaps you two believe that heaven really can be placed on Earth. Perhaps you are part of the transition team who, at a soul level, are devoted to creating this kind of harmony on the planet now. Thank you for wanting to do this work. It's easy to get overwhelmed by the state of affairs on the planet right now. Um, but you are being encouraged to keep holding the clear vision of the future. It is closer than you think. You may be guided to hold the frequency of Lemira in your own community, family, workplace, or within yourself. Know that it is possible, and while at times you may feel like you are alone, you are truly not. There are hundreds of thousands who hold the codes of this ancient lost land, and even Lemira crystals that hold the codes of remembering that are beginning to rise all over the planet. Keep doing what you are doing, and remember, the only way to heal the world around us is to first heal ourselves. Hold the card on your heart and say, I hold the codes of Lemira and believe that the heaven really can be a place on earth. All right. So thank you for watching this video with me today um, or like watching the video that I made or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I'm tired. Um, but thank you for watching. Um, and I hope you enjoyed your like digital virtual journey, um, through like the Egyptian chambers into like the goddess, um, chamber into the light Oracle chamber, like, and, um, I'm, I hope you enjoyed, um, your journey and, 
Please don't forget that you're loved. Please don't forget that you're a beacon of light for people. Please don't forget that you deserve love, that you deserve respect, that you deserve to be treated like a human being. Um, please don't forget that, you know, if you, if you know somebody's like mean to you and they don't make you feel good, please, um, just exit the situation, you know, um, exit away from them, get away from them. There's nothing wrong with defending your, your self-respect for yourself and your love for yourself. Um, you know, people will try to pick arguments with, if you're a beacon of light and love and hope and positivity, people are going to see that. And there are, some people are going to want to steal that away from you and try to bring you down and try to make you feel like you're not important because they're jealous of you. And that's where it all begins is really when they see that you're just like so happy and so full of life and doing so well, they want to see you fail because that person that wants to see you fail is a bully. They are a negative force and they're not a divine person and they're not channeling divine energy. And so you have to get away from those people. And if, if if you stand up for yourself, do not do not let people tell you you're not allowed to stand up for yourself. You're allowed to stand up for yourself, okay? You're allowed to tell people back off. Like I don't want you in my space. Like I have a mission here. This is my mission. I was chosen for this reason to be a beacon of light, to be a positive force for good, to try to make the world a better place, to bring heaven to earth. And if you're trying to ruin that for me, then you're on the wrong side. Think of Star Wars. Think of like the Jedis, okay? You're a Jedi and there's the Darth Vader Republic stormtroopers <laughs> that are going to try to like come in and like bring you down and try to, you know, say no more Jedi, but be a Jedi, okay? Be a Jedi, please, okay? If you don't know Star Wars, it's on Disney Plus, um, okay? So thanks for watching. Love and light always, okay? Bye, my Jedis.